Audacity Basics Tutorial in 8 Simple Steps. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future videos. Audacity Basic Tutorial. Number 1. Create a new project. Open Audacity, then immediately save it to your jump drive before recording or importing an audio. Recommendation. Create a folder on your jump drive for your Audacity project and save it into that folder if you don't do this, your project may not open on another computer unless you copy both the project file and the project's data folder to your jump drive. Warning, different versions of Audacity are not compatible with each other. And now step number two, recording your voice. Click on the red record button to begin recording. Click on the black button to pause the recording. Press it again to continue. Recording from where you left off. Click on the gray stop button to stop recording. The cursor will return to its previous position before the recording was started. After you stop recording, before recording again, mute the previously recorded audio track or track. Each time you stop recording, then start recording again. A new audio track will be created. Remember to unmute tracks to hear them play back. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future videos. Step number three, playback audio. Click on the green play button at the top and you will hear the file you have just recorded or imported. Note number one, the audio will play back from the position of the playback head. You might either have to, number one, Click on the skip to start button on the toolbar to return to the playback head to the beginning of the project or number two, use the selection tool to position the playback head at the position where you want to start playing the audio. Note number two, you can play back just one audio track by selecting the solo button on a track. Note number three, anytime you can't do anything, hit the stop button then try again. Number four, importing an audio file. Simply drag and drop the audio file into the Audacity window or select Import Audio in the Project menu. Note, version 1, 2 and 6 cannot import WMA, Windows Media Audio file. If you have a WMA file, you can download it and use the free Jodex WWMA to MP3 converter to convert it. Download site HST www.wma-mp3.org slash. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future videos. Step number five, moving audio clips to another position on the timeline. Select the Time Shift tool. It is used to move an audio clip to the left or right on its track. Step number six, splitting a clip for editing. First, we've got to select a portion of an audio clip on a single track using the selection tool. In the next example, we have a small sentence of speech where the speaker made a pause after the first word. We'd like to eliminate that pause. The part after the pause is selected as shown, darker gray area. Select the area you want to split. Just click drag over the area. Now use the split function edit split to remove the selection area from the original track and move it to a new track as shown below. And now use the time shift tool to grab the bottom audio clip and move it to the left as shown below. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future videos. When you play back both tracks, the audio now doesn't have as long a pause. Step number seven, use the envelope tool to fade audio volume down or up in the middle of a clip. Note, if you want to fade the volume of a clip at the beginning or end, just use the selection tool to select the area of the clip where you want a fade, then choose the fade in or fade out filter to apply the fade to the selected area. Creating keyframes to control the audio level. Number one, switch to the envelope tool. Number two, click on the audio file to create a keyframe and lock the volume of the audio track at its existing volume level. Number three, click to the right of the first keyframe to create a second keyframe then drag down to reduce the volume level. Number four, click again to the right of the second keyframe to create a third keyframe that will lock the volume to the level of the second keyframe. Number five, Finally, click the right of the third keyframe to create a fourth keyframe, then drag the envelope to a up to increase the volume level.
an example of an audio clip that fades down, then up, then down, then up, etc. Step number 8. Exporting your finished audio as an MP3. Note, unless you install the LeMay MP3 encoder, Audacity will only allow you to export WAV format audio files. See the SMS tutorial downloading and installing Audacity for instructions about installing and activating the LeMay MP3 encoder. Just click on the file, export as MP3. You should be able to take it from here. The MP3 file you export is the file you want to send to your instructor. Do not send the Audacity project file, the one with an AUP extension. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell for our future videos.